magnitude along a line into Cartesian form. We have two points, B and C. C is at 12, 3, B is at 7, 9. And there is a line that goes from C to B. F is 47 miles per hour. It lies along the line from C to B. One of the things I will see at this point, I will see people draw arrows that go all the way from point C to point B and say, look, this is F. This is not F. This would be RCB. That's the position vector from C to B. We'll use that, but we're, that's not equal to F. That's incorrect. F is a magnitude of 47 miles per hour. The length of this line is not 47 miles per hour. But we need to use this line to find the direction for F. How do you find the direction of this line? What is this angle? Well, that angle is the slope of that line. So if you looked at rise over run, the slope of that line is 9 minus 3 over 7 minus 12, or minus 6 fifths. That's the slope of the line from C to B. It's also the tangent of that angle. To solve this, that angle has to be 50.194 degrees. Now we have a magnitude and a direction. We can find the Cartesian form. Our F vector is 47 miles per hour. That's the magnitude. And now I need the vector. How do I find the vector here? This is going to be cosine of 50.194 and sine of 50.194. Now remember that F is going in the negative I direction, so we can put a negative there. If you want to back that up just a little bit, Fx is going to be the magnitude of F times the cosine of the angle. Fy is going to be the magnitude of F times the sine of the angle, where these angles are measured from the positive x-axis. So you'd have to take this all the way around to get to this theta. Otherwise, we can use what we were doing and put the negative in because we know that F goes up and to the left. When it goes to the left, you've got a negative I component. So that is, if we multiply that out, we have the Cartesian form for F. 30.1I in the negative I direction plus 36.1J miles per hour. Notice this is not the same thing as the position vector. If you wanted RCB, you would find the slope of the line, and you would have minus 6J plus 5I. That's the position vector for RCB. You can even find the unit vector by dividing by that length, and what you'll find is that this is the unit vector in the direction for F. So if you take the position vector and divide by its length, you get the unit vector. The unit vector for UCB, for this position vector, is the same as the unit vector for F. The unit vectors are the same. What's different is the magnitudes. If you're dealing with the unit vector, the magnitude is 1. If you're dealing with a position vector, the magnitude is the length of the line CB. If you're dealing with F, you were already given that the magnitude was 47 miles per hour. So try not to mix up F and the position vector from RCB.